welcome back to another edition of Interstitial Cystitis Chronicles 2. Don't forget the two on the end. The two is because I'm in another phase when it comes to IC. It just won't leave me alone. So I'm kind of veteran at this. But for today's topic, drum roll please. We're going to discuss amitriptyline also known as Elevil. So, anitriptyline was one of the very first IC medications that I was prescribed. But to tell you the truth, I hadn't yet had the urodynamics, cystoscopy, um, hydrodistension, or installation just yet. But I was prescribed Elevil and amitriptyline by a gynecologist. So I went from, at that time, from primary care to a gynecologist to a urogynecologist and urologist. They were all affiliated as one happy family within the gynecology, urology group for studying interstitial cystitis. So I was telling the gynecologist that I was experiencing urgency frequency. And I also described having some type of flutters or vibrations in my abdominal area. I was also experiencing abdominal pain, abdominal pressure, like something in my stomach just would not let me go. Now, there's many different subcategories when it comes to IC. Now, the one that I fall in is urgency and frequency and abdominal pressure. So when I void, I feel better. Like when my bladder is filling and once I void, release the urine, I feel much better from my urinary IC symptoms. Okay, so when I was prescribed this medication, this medication is also prescribed to be an antidepressant med with sedative effects. The milligrams that I was prescribed at the time was 50 milligrams on up to 100 milligrams. Now, common adverse effects include dry mouth, weight gain, constipation, and sedation. In my opinion, from my chronicle, from my experience, when I got a hold of that medication, I still can recall I was in the bathroom and I'm like, okay, looking at looking in the mirror, like, okay, we're gonna do this. Like, this is gonna be the medication that's gonna solve all my IC problems. So I took the medication. Well, the next day, I could barely wake up. I woke up, but I had this, this, I felt drained. I felt so tired, like it was just, it was too much for me, but I knew that I slept during the night. I knew that I wasn't experiencing getting up at least three, four, five, sometimes six during the night. So I was relieved of that. So I'm like, okay, okay, great. This is working. But little did I know when I mentioned that this is also prescribed for pain, it also can be a nerve medication pain medication once again. My focus at the time dealing with IC was nighttime frequency, also known as nocturia. So I'm like, great. So I'm steady taking it and taking it. And a lot of times, you know, your doctor will tell you that it's going to take some time, up to four weeks sometimes, to get into your system for you to really see the effects and to, for your body to adjust to the medication as far as the tiredness wearing off. Your body is being reset to adjust to the medication. Well, my thing was, I'm getting this medication. I'm gonna keep using it. I know it's working because I am sleeping. When you are sleep deprived, that's on a whole nother level as far as mood swings. Okay, so moving forward, maybe like four weeks into this medication, my other half is mentioning to me, you're looking different. And I'm thinking, oh, honey, thinking, yeah, in a good way, right? Well, I noticed he kept squeezing on my arms at times. I was 
getting a little offended like okay what's up with that like we never played the squishy game is there something i need to know so without him flat out saying it but eventually he did flat out say it you're gaining weight now for me personally i've never been one to discuss weight that's just not in my vocabulary because for one it's like you can't make people happy if you're 110 you can't make people happy if you're 310 regardless people's always going to have something to say if you don't have the confidence to back it up but in my case i've always been anywhere from 117 to 125 give or take 127 But when he told me I was flat out gaining weight, like you're getting bigger, you're, the shape of your face is changing, your arms, just everything, you're, you're getting fat is what he told me. And I'm like, wow, that was kind of rude for you to say. But at the same time, I started thinking like, hmm, maybe I am eating more. Well, I definitely was eating more it got to the point where i was going through a carton of ice cream within like two hours i'll put it back in the freezer get some more put it back in the freezer get some more i noticed i was going to the grocery store and just buying it just buying erratically and it got to the point where i was eating 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 non-stop i was hiding food in the house i was hiding food in my car i was constantly eating so i decided to do some research on the medication imitriptyline come to find out not only is this medication prescribed for the benefits of helping i see patients with the nighttime frequency, the abdominal pain, pressure that you sometimes experience in other categories as well that you fall in when it comes to IC, depending on what your subcategory is. But it's also a medication that's prescribed for anorexic patients. When I read the rest of the adverse side effects, because I didn't see that at first, I thought, oh my Lord, this is getting serious, but yet I had the benefits. So I had to make a decision. Now, at that time, I wasn't as informed when it comes to medications, as far as discussing what might be another medication to try with your doctor or to inform your doctor what is happening. Should we cut down on the milligrams? Because Again, the highest I was, was like 100 milligrams. Or if we should try something else, or is there something else that exists? So again, in this chronicle, be aware of what your medication is being used for. Really understand the why am I using this medication? Why is this medication being prescribed? Ask your doctor questions. If you have follow-up questions, call the office. Also, talk to your pharmacist. That's another good resource because sometimes there's other medications in that particular category that may benefit you as well. But how will you know if you don't discuss your medical condition and what is going on with your provider? And again, I always stress it's important to get your medical records. And that way you're able to communicate effectively with your next doctor who might be in line or your current doctor once you do a little research because it's so important, again, to be able to communicate effectively. Now, looking back, is there something that I could have done differently as far as maybe if I would have had help to know how to eat on this medication since I was benefiting? Maybe, but... That's just me passing the word down to you as my chronicle dealing with anatriptyline. Don't forget to hit the like 
button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. What's been your experience when it comes to medication as far as a sleep aid, dealing with IC, if you have night nocturia, nighttime frequency. But I have heard that the medication can also benefit you from daytime frequency. Again, if you fall into that category. But it's been real. Signing off, Interstitial Societies Chronicles 2. Peace.